Hey cousins, happy Monday, happy Monday. And I just realized I haven't said it on any of the shows. It's the first of the month. It's the first of the month. <laughs> All right, we're in the house. Let me add the link and then I'll go over. Let me add the link and then I'm gonna go over for you guys to join the show. While I'm doing this, cousin, shout out where you're watching from. Shout out your home, your baby mama house, your job, your city. Shout out your city. Okay. So the link to join is in the comment section on YouTube. So the comment section on YouTube has the link to join. And then let's see. And the link to join is also in the comment section on Facebook. So if you want to be a guest, the link to join is in the comment section on YouTube and Facebook, the comment section. Pin. Okay. Um, let me put it in there. All right. Get something situated. All right. Let me set this up. Bronzeville, Chicago's in the building. Bronzeville, Chicago. Okay, Maryland. Woo! Um, Brooklyn. Someone said, please be dressed. Okay, Texas. No music, no music, no music. All right, let's get into it. Monique, show me your room, Monique. Monique, show me the room. Show me the room. Okay. Let me start with you. I got on? Oh, my hey, God. God. I can't believe I'm on right now. How you guys you ready? doing? Hello. How are you? Good. Monique, where are you calling me from? Long Island, New York. Long Island. How old are you? Yeah. I am 37 years old. 37. What you do for a living? I am a social worker. Social worker. Do you have any yes. kids? <laughs> yes, I do. I have four. Four kids. How old are your kids? They are 18, 17, 12, and 8. Okay, all by the same man? No, two different dads. You ever been married? Never been married. Okay. Um, what you do? Oh, you told me. Okay, what's your zodiac sign, Moni? Another Taurus in the house. Taurus okay. gang gang. Is your birthday April or May? May. Guess May what? what? Guess what? Mother's Day, May 12th. Okay, so. happy birthday on the way. Thank okay, you. so we got Monique, Long Island, 37 stories, social worker, mom of four kids, yes. by two men. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Kendra, oh my God, this is aggravating. I'm looking for a good man, Kendra. I want him tall, dark, and handsome. I want him not to be an alcoholic. I don't want a married man, okay? I don't know where they're coming from, but they're dropping in my inbox. No married men, no married men, none. I would like a man that is emotionally intelligent, okay? I want a man that is a provider, but I also provide as well. So I'm not looking for him to take care of me solely, but I would like him to definitely be, you know, having his own and being able to provide his family. I want him to be very, very, very family oriented because I am. Okay. Um, what Now, I want to say this. You did describe as an attributes, physical attributes, the most desired man. Tall, dark, and handsome is mm -hmm. the most desired man um, on this show that I hear. Yes. So you and 2,084 million, 3,099 trillion women want that tall, dark, and handsome man. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Deal breakers, I, I, I kind of threw that in there. No drinking, no smoking. I don't drink, I don't smoke. Um, I would like him to be, I guess I would, I want a man that's patient and kind, you know, I would like a guy that not, not to say that he doesn't look at other women cause that's not realistic, but I want, I want him to really be involved with us as a couple. I want him not to be easily distracted, easily tempted. Um, I know it's kind of probably hard to even put out there, but, um, and just really like, you know, really willing to have a strong relationship and help to build one, you know, because it takes two. Okay. Do, um, could he have kids already? Yes. I don't mind. I don't mind that. Yes. Okay. Now your two children's dads, you couldn't be with either of them long-term? 
No, um, actually, my well, my boys have I have a different dad. So my boy's father, I haven't been with him since my boys were like six. So okay. it's been a very long time. And then my daughter's father, um, I we we kind of broke up. I you could say like four years ago. So, okay. but we co-parent good. So I have no drama over here. Okay. What about money? Did this guy make a certain amount of money? Um, I'm gonna be very honest. I'm being very transparent. 60k that's good on me okay, okay you know is good on i'm not gonna say i'm not asking no 100k 200k no 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 okay. 60k 60k mm -hmm. um you're in long island new york correct yes i am do you want the guy to be in long island no he can be out of state that's fine yeah. all right let's do the kendra cam you ready kendra let's see you morning oh like you small girl oh. I'm sorry. Mm. okay Ooh. Turn around on him. <laughs> so we got Monique, Long Island, New York, 37 stories, social worker, mom of four kids. Um, do you want more kids? No, I'm good. Um, yeah. When was your last relationship? I've been single for like a year now, so. A year? Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Six months ago. Six months ago. Yeah. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. I said this. Three flaws of it. Right. I, I got you, girl. Don't worry about it. Um, I would say honestly, my communication. Okay. I, I I haven't in the past, I haven't communicated my feelings well. I've been very quiet, very docile, kept everything in. You know, I would definitely say my communication. I have worked on that more now, but that's something I can I'm continuing to be aware of is that people can't read minds, so you gotta speak, you know. Um, another thing I would say is um to work on i guess not being you know i guess having boundaries and and holding someone up to the boundaries that i set not giving in too easily not giving in too easily yeah. i got a paid question from dr g he okay. said nose ring nose ring he said nose ring just said all it says is nose ring I'm yes sure. yes nose ring yes nose ring okay okay yeah. um all right, did I ask you? I got your three flaws, right? Yes. Why would yeah. a guy be lucky to be with you, Monique? I am a hard worker. I am a single mom, but I hold it down. As you know, I have four children. My oldest just got accepted into college. So I'm excited, LIU. He's going to play football. I'm so excited. Um, I am a team player. Like I say, I try to, I will work on my communication, but I try to make sure that my household is run very tight. I don't have anything, no no chaos, no drama. I can cook. I'm tiny, but that's a gene because I can cook. Okay. I can cook very well. I keep a clean, organized house. You know what I'm saying? I'm easily to communicate with, you know? So. Okay. I got another pay question for oh you. God. Okay. Okay. All right, this is from a man, I think. Logical faith. Logical faith says those children are all. Um, okay, I'm gonna read this one. Those children are all. You ain't my daddy age. That's a huge burden for a man to take on. What can you do to match that level of sacrifice? That's a great question. I love it. So, just to give you guys a little backstory without telling them my business, my boys don't have that mentality. They weren't raised that way. They are highly respectful. They stay in a man's place. In a man's place. Well, they are one is a man, but they stay in a child's place. And I don't see that being an issue. Like I said, I'm. I would look for us to build a little bit first and get to know everybody first. I'm not looking for nothing quick and jump into a relationship overnight. But my boys. They are amazing kids. They love to meet people. I don't have a lot of people. I haven't dated um, in a very long time. So they haven't been around other men. But if they meet someone, they stay in their place. And they will greet you. And they will give you that respect. So okay. give it time. Okay, yeah. Okay. Right. yeah. Thank you for answering the question. So let's do it. What was the age range you would date? You are 37. I am 37. I would say 35 to 50. 35 to 50. Let's do it, Monique. Monique, Long Island, New York, 37, a tourist, social worker, mom of four kids. Do you want to get married? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. She desires to get married. Make at least 60K. 35 to yeah. 50. Be tall, dark, and handsome. Um, mm -hmm. We have another question. Okay. okay. I think, I, mean, I don't understand this one, but I'll read it. 
The yes. disgusting anti-black comics got to stop. Talking about her natural black features and calling her Section 8 is nasty. Do better. Oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't see that either, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm not worried about any of those comments. I know what I have. I know what I live with. I know what I make. I know. I'm, I'm a social worker, so I see everything. And at the end of the day, when people make comments like that, it's for attention. I ain't even worried about them. I ain't worried about okay. them. Okay. Here's yeah. another positive one for you. Kay okay. said, even if they weren't at a you ain't my daddy age, People will still talk shit. Do you, sis? You look good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. There you have it. Okay. Okay. Well, listen, I wish you the best. Let's do it. Thank um, you. Um, yeah. Okay. How can the guy reach out to you? IG. My IG name is as underscore told underscore by Mo24. And there you have it. All right, baby. You keep me posted how it goes. Thank you. I will, girl. I'll be back. All right. Take care. All right. Bye, baby. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. I love how she handled herself. All right. Let's see. Do I have any guys? Okay. I don't think I have a guy. Um, okay. Jay, I would need to see your room, Jay. I think I do have a guy. Show me the room, Jay. Are right, you not moving fast enough. Janelle? Janelle, show me your room with the braids. Jay, I can't get you unless you show me your room, so I can't. Are you at the mall? Yeah. Are you at the mall? I'm in the casino. Oh, at the casino. Is yeah. it okay? You could go live at the casino? Um, yeah, but I'm stepping outside. Okay. <laughs> What's your name, baby? I'm my name is Jeanette, but I go by Nelly. Nelly. Okay. Want, me, want me to call you Nelly? Yeah, you can call me Nelly. Nelly, where you call me from, Book? Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida, stop moving, honey. How old are you? I am 34. 34. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm a claim specialist and I also do real estate. Okay, again, stop moving, honey. Real estate. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Nelly, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I'm telling you to stop moving. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> stop You're stop a Libra. Do you have any kids? I do have one son. How old is your son? 13. Can you hold that? All right. Let's do it. We got Nelly, Tampa, Florida, 34 Libra, a claim specialist and also does real estate. So, um, mom to a 13 year old. Yeah. How could, what kind of man are you looking for? I'm looking for, I'm actually like reaching out to someone specific, Kendra. I messaged you. I'm not going to tell the crowd who he is, but um, I actually reached out to a celebrity and like I told him, like, I had someone deliver him like edibles and then like I see him on stage and I gave him a gift. So I don't want to say who this celebrity is, but what does he do? He's a rapper. How, uh, Janelle, Nelly, we can't hear you. We can't hear you, baby. Is this guy trying to say we cannot hear you, honey? We can't hear you. I need to hear the rest of the story. Oh my God. Now you gotta call me back. Cause I need to hear the rest of the story on how, what rapper you send edibles to. Who is this? So Natalie, get your Wi-Fi together. Oh wait, wait, I think she's back. I think I'm back. Hello? Yes, I'm back, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm wait a minute, so name one of the songs. I can't, cause you're gonna know. I don't want people to like be in my like, and I don't want to cause that type of attention, but okay. So do I know the guy because you said you do? I reached out to you to tell you like that I sent it and I sent you a picture, but like I don't want that type. What's of your Instagram? You you DM'd it to me. I won't say I his name. You. I DM'd it to you. you. Okay, what's your Instagram? Beauty 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 Thirty Two. Hold on. Um, and we did like we like connect. Wait, what is wait? What is your Instagram? Spell it slow. B e a u t y. B. I guess that's supposed to say it slow. B. Again, B E A U T Y, B E A U T Y again, and then a third time, and then 32 on the end. Girl, you're going too fast. Beauty, so beauty three times. You're you, you went out. Hello, 
You know what it is? Hello? Put your I put your phone on do not disturb. Uh, she said she said beauty. I'm dyslexic. I'm not slow, guys. So just FYI, uh, beauty, beauty, 32. I'm going to go to see. Okay. Now let me look at this. She sent me a DM. Oh, she didn't send me the name. Um, let me see if she's back. Okay, she's back. You put your phone on do not disturb? Nope. Do I? Can I you do that? To, you um, need to do that. I think that's what it is. Okay, let me put it on. Do not disturb. Do you want me to okay. read this DM? I found a DM you sent me. Do you want me to read it out loud? No. <laughs> oh, don't read it out loud. Okay, let me read it real quick. She don't want me to read it out loud. Um, She's reading it. Let me show the hard box. What? The hard No. Oh. You can't try to okay, so Nelly, I can't see your face. Yes. Okay, we need the light. We need the light. Oh, she All knows. right. So Nelly, what do you want from me? Like, what is your, what is your goal? I can't hear you. Did you put your phone on Do Not Disturb? I don't recommend this, honey. Um, I want to get, I want to finish this. I know y'all want me to move on and we're going to move on. I promise you we will. But now I, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm intrigued by this craziness. Um, we'll come back. Jaquetta, Jaquetta, show me your room, girl. Show me the room. Okay. You ready? Hi, Kendra. Hi, what's your name? Jaquita. Jaquita. Jaquita, what do you do for a living? Um, so I work in executive management. Executive management. Um, do you have any kids? I do. I have two precious babies. I have an eight-year-old son and a 11-year-old daughter. Okay. 11-year-old, uh, eight-year-old son, 11-year-old daughter. What about the same man? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been married? Yes. Yes. When did you get divorced? Uh, 2017. Okay. Say your name, pronounce your name for me again. Uh, Jaquita. Jaquita. So Jaquita, executive management. What city are you calling us from? Um, I'm in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I'm originally from North Carolina, though. Country Cherry girl. Hill, New Jersey. Um, Jaquita, executive management, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Mom of two kids, was once married. What's, how old are you? I'm 39. And what's your zodiac? I'm an Aries. Birthday in two days. Oh, happy birthday on the way. Thank you. I'm a, a Taurus moon. You're a Taurus moon. Okay. Yes. So Jaquita, what kind of man are you looking for, girl? So I first, I want to say thank you for giving me a second chance. You lost, I lost you on IG, so thank you. Okay. Um, so I'm looking for a uh, a strong, God fearing man. Um, loving God is very important to me. Um, someone who is a gentleman first. Um, you know, who loves to to treat his lady and be respectful. Um, I would say also a protector is important to me, um, and a provider. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Uh, deal breakers for me would be, uh, sorry, I'm going to go to faith again. Um, I think just being spiritual um, and having a, a very strong faith is really important. Um, that's a deal breaker for me. Um, I would say anger issues is also a deal breaker and um, being dishonest. And being dishonest. Okay. Yeah. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, I like tall men. Um I'm I'm five seven and I wear heels a lot, so that puts me at about five five ten. Um, so I would like someone about six feet, six two, six one, six two. Um, I like bigger guys. Um, you know, somebody who can handle me. And uh, beards. I love beards. Salt and pepper. Okay, she loves beards. Salt and pepper. Oh, what's? Oh, uh, you're thirty nine. What's the age range you want to date? Uh, so this has been this has been tricky. So I'm on a lot of dating sites. I've been single for two years, trying to find my future husband. Um, so I would like 40 and up, honestly, but I get a lot of younger, younger men. Um, and it could be that I want to have more children. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't figured that out yet, but I think I would, I would like to try 40 and up. 40 and up. Okay. Okay. What about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Um, I wouldn't say as a set amount. I mean, it would be nice for him to, 
you know, be financially responsible, you know, money savvy. Um, I'm very traditional. So I would like someone who's, you know, good with money. Like I'm going to be looking to him to be the head eventually, you know, the leader of our family. So someone who can manage our money, someone that I can trust. Um, I'm sure we'll be putting our assets together, you know, somebody who doesn't spend more than they make. Okay, fair enough. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Kendra Cam. Okay. We can't see your legs really, but I think if we get a can y'all see your legs? Hold on, let me move my chair. I'm packing our bags because we're going to ride some horses for my birthday. Okay. How's that? Okay, all right. We see you, mama. Okay, boo. Ooh, like you're in good shape. Ooh, booty turn. Looks like you're in good shape. I'm always working out. <laughs> She's always working out. And yeah. it's Jaquetta? A Jaquita with a Q. Jaquita, or Jaquita, Jaquita for short. Jaquita. Yeah, Quita. Jaquita. Jaquita, do you want him to be in New Jersey? Um, No, I'll relocate. You know, wherever he wants me to be, I'm down. I really miss the country, honestly. You know, I miss that peacefulness. It's different up north. Okay. Um... Now, um, when was your last relationship? Um, I've been single for two years. Two years. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Oh, two years. I've two been years. celibate until, yeah, until I find my king. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. are you, so you're not having sex until you're married? I mean, you know, we until I'm dating again in a serious relationship. Okay, so you're in a serious, committed relationship. Okay. Right. Could the guy have kids? Uh, yes. Yeah, I okay. think so. What are three flaws you have to work on? Um, so I would say, um, like, exercise. So I exercise a lot, but I, I need to be, like, more consistent um, and, and do better with my exercise. So I'm a real female. I'm always doing the same workouts all the time. You know, like, I feel like if I could do better with, like, muscle building um, and drink more water and also my calories, um, you know, just kind of watching that. Cause again, I do want to have more children, hopefully if that is in my, you know, my future. Um, and I tend to gain a lot of weight when I get pregnant. <laughs> so I'm just trying to be a little proactive. Um, so that's one thing is just being more consistent with my, my, um, with my weight. Um, and then my weight management. Um, I would also say, uh, being more patient. Um, so again, so I'm a ram and I have a Taurus moon. So that helps me a lot. Because if you know, like Aries, we are really, really impatient. Like we got to have it now. So that helps me balance a little bit, but I could still use, you know, some work there. Um, and then lastly, I guess I would say just try not, not trying not to be so much of a perfectionist, um, making okay. sure everything is perfect and, you know, having to have things a certain way all the time. Okay. So we got a pay question. The silver fox, the sharp silver fox, excuse me, said, explain handle for my brothers, please. You said earlier in the beginning, you want a man that can handle you. That's why you wanted a man of a certain height. So explain what does handle mean to you? Um, I guess, I mean, in a way um, where he's physically strong enough um, to have fun in the bedroom. That's it. That's all I mean. Okay. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. All right. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, so I would say because I'm very feminine, like I'm very loving, very loving, very affectionate. Um, I love to take care of my man. I love to foil him. Um, I love to cook. I love to bake, you know, take care of my home. Um, I'm very business savvy as well. Um, my credit is popping over 800. I got a few properties. So, you know, I feel like we would have a nice life together. You have a nice life together. Let's do it. Jaquetta. I said all right. Jaquita. It's fine though. Jaquita. Jaquita. God, Jaquita. <laughs> Executive management lives in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Mom of two kids. Open to having more children. 39 Aries. You you was married or you were never married? Oh yeah. We were together. We 15 years. Yes. I was married. Right was out married. of high school. Why did y'all get divorced again? Well, we didn't talk about that. Um oh. he um, so it's some like domestic violence stuff that went on. Oh no, oh no. So unfortunately, you know, I just didn't want my children to, to be uh, brought up in that type of atmosphere. And, you know, he's working on himself and he has some drug issues as well. 
Um, and I tried to stay by his side as long as I could, but, um, you know, unfortunately things didn't work out. And I took a lot of time after we got divorced just to like work on myself and, you know, and, uh, you know, try to, try to take that time. Um, and then I, you know, started dating again, but it's been hard. So thank you for giving us this platform. I really appreciate you. No, it's really hard. And, and I, and I feel for my, my fellow black women, who I mean are looking for love. Like I actually do have a heart for, for 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 my sisterhood because I know there's just not a lot. Well, first of all, you guys all do want the same guy. Well, I know <laughs> I hear that. Like, like yeah. everybody wants a tall, dark, and handsome man. So that's for one. Um, I think salary changes, but listen, I, I I want everyone to get the. I mean, the love that you you're born with love, so that you're never searching for love. What you're searching for is to add on to the love that you're already giving to yourself. Right. Amen. Right. And, and, right. and men who are serious too. It's been a struggle finding a, a genuine guy who is serious about, you know, building together and being in a long long term relationship. So, you know, hopefully this will help help me to attract my king. <laughs> I hope it does too, baby. I hope it does too. How can the guy reach out to you, Bull? Uh so we can do Instagram. Uh, my handle is at pretty model ceo pretty model ceo pretty model ceo all right baby girl you keep me i like you keep me posted how it goes thank honey. you i like you too all right bye baby um oh okay let me finish this one off i think she's child i don't know which one is right hello hello do you have the phone on mute this time i do i blocked everybody i blocked my babysitter too your babysitter. I didn't even get to that. Okay, you just tuned in. She called me a second ago. And um, this is Nellie, Tampa, Florida, 34 Libra, acclaimed specialist in real estate, mom to a 13-year-old. But she DM'd me. I, I never saw the DM until tonight. I just went to her page and I went. Come hold the phone. Message, and I went to the message. And basically, there's a rapper who she likes and she's trying to get the rapper's attention. Now, you don't want to say the rapper's name. So how are you going to use my, my platform to get his attention? Because I feel like he knows what I've sent him. My the thing is the card when I sent the edibles, the card got rained on because it rained. I mean, I'll tell you where the card got mailed, but I just don't want to say who it is. But wait, did you where did you send the edibles to? Miami. One of his Miami homes. How do you know his address? It was leaked online a long time ago. Girl, that's a stalker. You a stalker. How? It was there. It was in a public records. I didn't go looking for it, it was just there. You did go looking for it because you had to go to the public record to get it. No, when it was leaked online, I found out about it. A, a friend of mine knows that I'm in love with him and seen it. So she sent it to me. Girl, you don't think this is an obsession? I mean, I didn't go there. I just sent, I had- But wait, 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 how do you, but listen, you don't even know this man. How can you love him? I mean, not love him, but I'm just saying like, I'm attracted to him. I'm strongly attracted to him. So in the, I, I, I won't, you told me not to read the DM you sent me, right? You can read it because it doesn't say his name in there. I was trying okay, to see, so but it's Okay, she sent me this DM. You sent me this DM earlier this month. Well, last month in March. Right, right. And the DM says, Kendra, I actually have a question. I need a little advice. I delivered edible arrangements to someone that's a celebrity, hoping to get their attention. I try to think outside the box. And I know for people who are rich and famous, sometimes people in their circle forget about them. But I'm honestly so attracted to him. If he didn't have the fame or the money, I would still want him anyways. Right. Just thought I would see what what you think, please um need um you need an advice column. I would love to I would love to re remain anonymous, by the way. Thanks for all for thanks for seeing this. Well, you're not anonymous now because right. I just read this with your face. Um girlfriend, I would suggest I'm gonna be honest with you, stop. You're doing too much. Right. You're doing too much, honey. If this man, I mean, he probably got the edible arrangement and was spooked the hell out. He's probably like, how the hell does this person have my address? Right. And that's scary. And this right. is not going to turn him on. You know, I want to just keep it real. You're coming across as a fan slash groupie. And, if, and I don't know who it is, but if he's a famous rapper, women do this all the time. And the likelihood of him, this turning him on and saying, I'm gonna diss every woman in the world. No, this is kind of stalkerish, honey. I don't expect him to diss every woman in the world. I was just hoping that it would bring some, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he would see, like, be curious of who's sending. 
you know, and just yeah, like, I, I would be curious, and then I would call the cops. Like if someone sent me something to my house, I would then uh, my next phone call would be the police of how do they have my address? Because right. I would be scared. I mean, right? I didn't go. I didn't go there because again, I would be embarrassed, and again, I wouldn't know what to say. I don't do that. Yeah, but the but the point of the matter is, you are a stranger, and you have this home address. That's scary. Public. You know, like what else? You don't. What else do you know that he probably don't want you to know? But why are you so obsessed with this man? There's not regular guys that you, you don't want to date a regular guy? I am. I, I mean, I'm interested in that too, but I just feel like the regular guys that I'm interested in, I mean, or that I that are interested in me, it's like they text too much and it's like they come on too strongly. Um, I don't know. It's like I'm at the casino now and it's like... Can I ask you a question? And again, she's not telling us a rapper, but do... Like you, do you wanna? You wanna? What do you want with this rapper? You want an exclusive relationship, or you just want to meet him? Like, what are you? What's your goal? Honestly, like you said, you can't say something. You can't genuinely say, "Oh, I want a relationship," and you don't know a person. I would just love like a date night with him and just see what happens. Um, that's it. You know, I I can't promise anything else because I don't know him. So that's about it. So you want now on this date? Would you pay for the date? No. <laughs> So you're trying to give him to take you on a real date. Right. Do you not think you're coming across as a groupie? No, because I've met him before, but I was so afraid of rejection. We were at the club. So I gave him the gift and I ran away. Wait, I thought you sent him the gift. So the, that's the edibles I sent. But when I met him at the club, I gave him the gift, but he was like... What gift did you give him at the club? I gave him a, um, a different gift at the club. It what was did you give him? Polo boxers and a polo scarf. So you handed this rapper, Polar, did you guys have a conversation? No, I think he was, honestly, I think he was high. <laughs> he had on like, you, so I couldn't see his face. So you went, now was it a club appearance he had? Yes. So you went to the club appearance, you brought him what again? I got him polo, like boxers and a polo scarf. Was and you like, handed him the polo boxers and then you walked away? Yes, because it was so loud, I felt like I was just, Scared. Okay, so you made two attempts, and I'm, I'm assuming that you leave your contact in each attempt in the edibles and the polo boxers? The first one, I don't know. I don't know if I left a contact, but the second one, I definitely did, but it rained. So I don't know if... So you're thinking, you, 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 you think edible arrangements doesn't know how to protect stuff in rain? No, the guy called me when he was there, and he goes, um, he has like a gate blocking his, um, his thing in no one's home. So he left it on the side of his mailbox. So I'm like, oh my God. So I don't even know if he got it. But I know that he has a camera right there that like when you drive in, he can see. So I feel like if he knows who sent the gift, you know, maybe he'll be curious and like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. Now let me say this, I'm not God. So I, I never like to say things as absolutes. Um, Cause you know, I'm not God. Who knows, right. God can make anything happen. I truly believe that. But I will tell you as a person I don't consider myself a celebrity, but I live in the celebrity world. I have a lot of celebrity friends. Right. Um, but if if a stranger did this to me, I would be scared and I would be calling the cops. It doesn't make you, this doesn't, you're not making yourself desirable. You're making yourself come across like a groupie. And going to the club and giving them polo boxers. And then there's a deal. If, if a person wants to date you seriously, mm -hmm. you, you got to be confident, right? You have to be able to talk to them and not act like a fan. So right. it's like, you're saying you fanned out. Basically you saw him in person. But, I, mean, I only fanned out because like you said, I, I guess it was scary for him as in, oh, you know, like, do I take this bag? And I'm like, yes, yeah, for you. So, I mean, I guess I just got like weirded out. Like, I mean, he's either taking the gift, like you said, as a fan, but I mean, when I come off, I'm not trying to like, I want your autograph. I want, you know, to talk to you. So, I mean, I don't know. Well, all men that you've liked in the past, were you were you this aggressive? Did you buy them gifts and stuff in the beginning? No. So why are you buying him gifts? Um, I guess I just wanted to catch his attention. So I just felt like, you know, maybe it'll catch his attention. I don't know. I, I haven't seen anyone at the concerts do it. And it was his birthday. So that's why I got the gift. When so, I went, was Okay. So what was your goal for coming on my show tonight? Are you trying to give him a message? I just wanted him to know that I was the one that got the gifts so that if he is curious and like but you said- But we don't got, know who the guy is. We have to know his name. I can't say his name, Kendra. I feel well, like- Well, then how is this 
message is going to get across. We don't know if the guy, like, uh, is this not every rapper is watching my show? So, you know, you would have to say his name if you really want a message to get sent. I mean, I feel like he's he watches your show, so I feel like he's going to... How do you know he watches my show? He's my friend? He's not your friend, but I've seen, like, people that he knows watch your show, so I don't know. So how do you figure he watches my show? I don't know. I just, I guess I just assume. So you're coming up here, you're not going to say his name, and you're trying to get a message across to a rapper who you once gave, you met on the club at his birthday. When was, when, when, when did you go to the club? Last year in November. So his birthday's in November. What city? Was it a club appearance? No, it was a club in Miami. Do you want to give any type of hint? <laughs> Tell us why. I guess, like, like you said, just coming this live, if he didn't, you know what I'm saying? If, like you said, if it comes off stalkerish, I don't want to seem like that girl. Like, oh, my God, you know. Girl, that's uh, too late. We, don't, we, we way past that. You, but, you, I, but I just, I, I mean, I don't think you, you don't think things out fully. Because if you don't want to share his name, that's fine, I guess. But there's, we don't know, we don't know who this is. So there's no way that he can get this message. I think he will. He knows. Like, I looked him dead in his face when I gave him the gift for his birthday. Girl, so, if he's a famous rapper. Do you know how many women he's... I have people that come on my show that I've literally had conversations with and do not remember when they come back on a second time. I'm not trying to bust your bubble, but if he's as famous as you're saying, he meets women every single day. Why would he remember you? He does. I mean... I don't know. I'm just saying. I really don't want to say who he is because I don't want people in my DMs like, oh my God, really? You thought you were going to have a chance with him? So that's why I really don't want to say who he is. We got a couple of paid questions. Um, someone said, someone said his future, his birthday is November 20th. It's future. So you want to be baby mama number eight? No, I didn't say I was looking for a baby. So you want to date a man that has eight baby mamas? I mean, I would want to date him. I mean, I think, I think judging someone and not knowing the full story, I mean, I'm, I would opt out of that, but, but I'm not. But, but, okay, but what turns you on about future? Because have you seen him treat women in a way you want to be treated? I did. I can say, does, um, does you already see him treat her in no type of way? Lori Harvey the same. So, so, so what is it about future that you like, honey? Um, I love the way he dresses. I love how nice he is. Um, I mean, again, like I said, I've met him before and he was genuinely nice. That's why I said I don't want to judge that because I haven't been in that seat before. So it's unfair for me to judge that. If so that you want this most, okay, you want one of the most popular rappers in the world um, to take you out on a date, of course, that he would have to pay for and to take you seriously as a dating option. I mean, I would think that anyone, anyone that wants to date with someone, they would hope that someone takes them seriously, of course. But I'm not looking to get married tomorrow. So it's like, it goes by what you're looking for as well. And I'm not look, I'm not asking um, for marriage from him. I'm not asking to be anyone's baby mom. I have a son already. So it's like, it also goes by that as well. Girlfriend, I say this with as much love as I could possibly find a way to say it. Let it go. Focus on a person that could be a real option for your life. This is madness. This is madness. And you got more paid questions. Oh, God, child. Shouts to the cousins who figured out who it was. I literally would not have figured it out. Let me Although, a couple people are saying it's future, it's future, it's future. I guess they're figuring it out. This one said, she's calling from a casino. Is she trying to be taken serious? She said, uh, present differently. This is a bad look. It's a bad look because I'm calling from the casino? That's what, um, sir. That's where I'm trying to get on the show forever, then, I mean, it shouldn't matter where I'm calling from. CC said, okay, this is another one. CC said, just curious, how do you know if he has cameras if you never actually went to his address? That when the when the the delivery driver delivered it, um, he put the camera that way, and he, it, you could see the camera. And this is his personal home. I mean, I guess. 
Someone truth her said, is she self-aware? Are you serious? I mean, again, I, I'm not going to respond to your questions because I don't care what people in the comments would think. This I mean, you're not brave enough to do it. So, I mean. This ain't no joke. So, to me, Tamaka said, um, I said, um, I said she looking to screw and give him a baby. No, I'm not. What are you looking for? Is that First your friend? Off. Is that your friend? Yeah, this is my friend. Okay, let me, let me talk to your friend. This, this be the problem. You don't think what your friend is doing is 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 crazy? I don't think so. No, we tell don't me think why. Anything is possible. As a real estate broker, we see things all the time. She sees people sending ar edible arrangements. We see stuff all the time, so it's not crazy. So, okay, so do you think that? Okay, have you? Do you know any success stories? With rappers that this has happened to? This is going to be a success story. Mark all words. Mark all words. This will be your first success story, but as a real estate broker, my friend sees it all the time. We see these things all the time. As Tampa okay, well, hold on real quick. Well, hold on. I, I, I have a few success stories from the show, so it, it would not be the first success story. And I'm asking you as her friends, you're saying you as a real estate, do you guys honestly just, as her friends, feel as though her having his address, which he didn't give to her, she Which goes part? to send him an edible arrangement. You don't think he would think that this is a stalker? No, no. We, we we believe she's thinking outside the box. At the end of the day, we know these it, it may come across as a stalker, but we, we see it as thinking outside the box. Just like when that girl threw that bra at Drake, that was outside the box. And guess what? That girl got to deal with Victoria's Secret. Anything is possible. You never know what could be the one thing that makes you successful. You never know. where She's in it for fun. She's not trying to get married to him. This is just for fun and it's gonna work and we're gonna be a success story. We're gonna be behind her a thousand percent. A thousand what, percent. Real quick, what was the story you gave about Drake? What was the example? When that girl threw that big old bra on stage with Drake, nobody knew she was gonna turn into a Victoria, Victoria's Secret model. She thought outside the box. Okay, but right now your friend is trying to get future to date her seriously. It's okay. a different goal. You never know. I mean, my friend looks very good. The only thing you, at the end of the day, the only thing you need is the right place at the right time. After if the right place, maybe future's mindset right now, and after he receives it, he might be at the right place, might mind, right mind frame to be like, hey, let me let me do this, let me do that. I mean, you we have know. other links to him now. We have um, producers in the industry that she got access to. Okay, so let me ask you that. Okay, so okay, so real quick, if y'all have other links. Producers, why didn't y'all go that route? If y'all know people that know him for real, because why would y'all not go there instead of calling me? He really respects you. Like, I don't watch the show, but I'm going to move it forward. You know, he listen, really respects you and want to go through you. Oh, she really respects me. But what I, yeah. well, I always tell people this. If you have a direct connection, you should use your direct connection. So if you're saying you have friends that know Future directly that are your friends, Y'all should be focused but one on thing, business. one thing I know Someone as a businesswoman, word of mouth, word of mouth is the number one topic of marketing. So no, I mean, but listen, hear me when I hear what I'm saying. You just said that y'all have direct connections to future. We so do you have direct connections to future. You should. Why my, you cousins, use... my cousins are in the industry as well. Okay, so hold on. Let me finish that, right? what I'm saying, honey. What uh -huh. I'm saying is, if you have a direct connection to future, then why don't you use those connections? She could she could, but she's not trying to, you know, go in sneaky. She's just trying to get the word out because word of mouth is very important. That's a top marketing. Go key. back to Nelly real quick. Nelly, where you at, honey? Here you go, baby. They uh -huh. want to do the Kendrick cam. Everybody wants you to do the Kendrick cam. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. bad as hell. Don't play with it. Okay, you do have a nice shape. Very well, nice. Okay. Okay, okay. So we got some more paid questions. Here we let go. Let me say, let me answer, let me answer a question that you asked her, because the person that I knew that was connected to him was like, "Don't do it. Why would you want to do that?" And I'm like, "Because if that's who I'm attracted to, you want who you want. It's like you're going into a car." But they have to want you back, and if a person that knows him directly tells you not to do it, that's not what. Every, no, huh? that's not what he said. Jealousy. He never passed the message. The one, he said, "I don't think you should do it because you know what I'm saying. Like if you just want like a." Uh, because but he things. wants you, girl. Right, but he never even presented the offer. He's like, you're a nice girl. I don't think that you should go that route. He never even presented, you know what I'm saying, or, or did anything. Not saying that, I, you know what I'm saying, I, I want him to. I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying, you don't, you're don't. not going to just stop there. I mean, but case after this, I mean, it's not like I'm trying to do anything. I just wanted to bring it to your attention to have you pass the message across. Because I would be curious, like, who sent this? I don't think he, girl, if... 
if these people, he probably was a home. I, I, I'm still stuck on you, send it, and you have his address. That was spooked me the hell out. But, you know, celebrities have house people. He probably never even got it. They probably ate the edible arrangements, or they probably called the cops. We got a couple of paid questions. Um, Kyra said, birds of a feather. So I think she's talking about you and your friends. Oh, birds of a feather together. Okay. Um, Talala said, delusional land. We're not delusional just because she it's gonna be delusional. But, but you know what? She don't don't, don't respond person, to though. the comments because, again, it's always going to be something. Right. Okay, this person said, West Mode 40, women keep women single. She needs new friends. You need new friends because you don't have a you're you're not living in a reality world. You have to be different. If that's delusion, some one person's delusion is one, another person's reality. Like that's insane for you guys to think that you're you're supposed to sit at home and wait for a celebrity to find you. No, sometimes you have to go out there and find a celebrity. How, yeah. By any means. They regular people too. They like nice shit too. They like new ideas too. What the fuck? But okay. Dehan Day 07. Dehan Day 07 said her friends is just as low as she is. Right. Both delusional. Right. But you're at home looking sad and we're at the casino having fun. <laughs> so, next. Okay. Melanie says she needs better friends. Here's one. Here, here's one. Here's one for y'all. Mr. Albert said, let her manifest it, Kendra. Exactly. Anything is possible. Listen, future might be on his life. Future might see this. The shade was like, anything can happen within the next five minutes, five seconds, five years, whatever. The same, the same thumbs that y'all bending y'all fingers to write these comments to is the same thumbs y'all gonna be wiping the tears off and crying for when y'all see this girl with future. So whatever. She never said. Okay, that. the the Iba family said, "Girl, sit down. You sound like a straight stalker. At this point, you really need to seek mental health." Right. Okay. Help us then, since you know so much. You're a straight stalker, but you're seeking seeking people on the internet like this, like. I'm not gonna argue with nobody on the internet. It's gonna go. It's always gonna be yay or nay. So I mean, right? What I said what I said. I came on the show to say what I wanted to say, and that's let's it. not turn this into. I mean, more. again, like, even if he doesn't talk to me, at least I was brave enough to do it. Right. That was it. <sighs> Nelly. Um. Okay. So we got the rapper's name. So the goal now is if Future gets this message, let's just say Future gets this message and he sees this. What do you want to say to him directly? I mean, I wouldn't say anything to him directly. I mean, I would hope what that I'm he saying would... is, no, you came on the show to read right. the message. He would, I would hope that he would message me, and that would be it. I mean, we would take it from there. Okay, so you want, so so the goal is for Future to see this and then DM you. Right, right. What is you. your DM? Um, My Instagram is beauty, beauty, beauty 32 Oh, you told me that earlier. That's right. Beauty, beauty, beauty32. Now, just to be clear, that's the only man you're interested in. It's not the only man I'm interested in. It's just the only man that I've been trying to get attention right now. Okay, so all right, girlfriend. If if future DMs you, please give me an update. I sure will. Are we paying for that interview? We'll be updating. Paying pay for interview? Y'all call me? What you talking about? Paying for an interview? Y'all call me? I didn't call you. I didn't ask you to be on the show. He get hot, baby. I what? Didn't he ain't getting nothing. Y'all call me. I ain't call you. So I'm you for an interview. We support your show. So what that gotta do with it? You call me and I'm supposed to pay you because you call I me. Call, I called I called you. I didn't oh. say that. But. Child, okay. Well, bye, bye. Keep me posted how it goes, bro. I bye, sure sweetheart. <laughs> Today's April Fools, but I know they wasn't joking. I know they weren't joking. Sometimes you just you just <sighs> I will say this. If I make it a highlight, it's a high probability he would see the highlight. Um, that could be possible. What would happen after that? I don't know. I don't know. Will he watch it and feel? I think, I don't know, child. Like I said, if a, a stranger sent something to my home, that would spook me the hell out. That would spook me out. I would not be excited about that. Um, I didn't get, did I get to everybody's? Oh, there was more paid questions. Stefan said, who's more delusional, the future girl or the Drake girl? <laughs> um, that was a question. Someone said, um, Tamika Howard said, I just talked to future. 
He said he don't want to deal with her because they crazy. I don't know if this person knows Future in real life, but she's claiming she just talked to Future. And Andre Foss said, these women are banking on possibilities instead of probability. Child. Child. What y'all want me to do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me get somebody else, child. Let's get a guy. Oh, I think I remember you was here. Kajai, Kajai, are you a guy? You're a guy, right? Show me the room, Kajai. I can't, I can't see. You guys show me the room. Show me your room. Kaju, you guys show me the room in order for me to select you. Show me the other side. Okay. Are you there before? Have you been here before? No, I've not. I've never been here. Okay, what's your name, baby? Oh, baby, I, I can't. We got. We got to have the Wi-Fi together. Jay Slay, Jay Slay. I gotta see your room. Okay, Sana, Sana eating popcorn. Show me the room. Show me your room. Okay. Hello? Hi. How do you pronounce your name, honey? Cyan. Cyan. I had it all wrong. Cyan. So I've been waiting to become, well, I have a story. I came on your show about four years ago. Okay. I'm in Oregon. So I was one of the few people from Oregon. Okay. Actually, my fiance is upstairs, but we met through your show. I love this. Your fiance got, <laughs> so tell me how'd you guys meet? Oh yeah, that's my ring. Oh my God, tell me. I love, I love when I hear success stories. So you came on during COVID, the year I came Yeah, I was, it was like 2020. I just about to graduate college. Uh, so, so yeah. So tell me how you said you came on my show, then what happened? Um, he, um, so he followed me on Instagram. And then we just had like conversation on and off through the DMs for like literally like three years. <laughs> And then last, okay, so we got engaged in December. So I want to say in a year, about a year ago in January, we started like talking more through Instagram. And then um, one day we just exchanged, exchanged numbers through the DM. And then we just never stopped talking since then and, you know, hung out and all that stuff and got in a relationship. And now we're engaged. When did you get engaged? <laughs> Uh, December 26th in Ghana. And I was trying to get on here in December right, when, I was, when we were in Ghana, but I was like, okay, it's not working. That's my mother's <laughs> birthday. Oh, really? So, yeah, the day after Christmas is my mother's birthday. <laughs> you know, here's the deal. We, this show was a lot of things, um, but this is the reason. You represent the reason I created the show um, four years ago. It was all hopes of people finding their person you know, the ultimate goal, obviously, for a lot is marriage. And I am just so thrilled. Is there any way we can meet your fiance? Let me see, because he was tired. So I'll just at least say hi, at least. OK, now you live in Oregon. Does he live in Oregon, too? No, right now it's long distance. OK, we where have does he plans live? plans living together. Let's see if he's up. I'm on the Kendra show. Okay. You're going to say hi at least? <laughs> Just say hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Uh, How are you doing? Good, good. How are you? Good. So now you guys are engaged? Yeah. I love this. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So wait, are you from Ghana? Yeah, I'm originally from Ghana, but I think the time we started chatting it was I was I was living in Canada then. Yeah, you was living in Canada. Okay. Ah, so now do you live here, or you still live in Canada? Uh, now I live in the UK. Oh, the UK. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, how do you say your name again, Sanya? Cyan. <laughs> yeah. It's Cyan. 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 So are here, you gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna get. This? I'm gonna get in bed with him. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get in bed. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, when are you? Okay, so are you going to move to the UK or is he going to move here? Well, I'm moving back to Canada in uh, in September, so 
We'll figure it out after that. Yeah. Are you figuring out after that? Do you guys plan on getting married soon? Yeah, our date is December 16th. Of this year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Now, do you have kids? No, we don't have kids. You don't have kids. <laughs> All right, well, listen, I want you guys to keep me posted. I'm very excited for y'all. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, I, tell, me, okay, I, well, real quick, tell me what made her the one. No, keep it real, because you know how her show goes. I watch her show like all the freaking time. I mean, I followed her for almost three years. We're just friends, like we talk here and there. But it was, it was, she was, she's very driven. Like I could see that. I mean, she's very determined, and I could see all that. Like she's also very woke in terms of the stuff she posts, because lately you see a lot of young girls just posting nudity and all that stuff but she always kept it very professional and clean and and one day i just said okay let's let's take this up another notch yeah okay and then what made it what made him the one for you sweetheart um he was honestly different from um like the past guys that i w was into all right like i feel like as women times we go for this type like okay, I know what I want from a man, but this isn't really producing what I want. Like, you know, so I think there was just a time where I just kind of prayed on it, honestly. And I just started to and move forward and um, just kind of really like, how do I say it? Like you go for your type, us your usual type. And then I was just like, okay, I'm kind of done with what that's, you know, th the results just weren't good. Um, and so he's very patient um he's also very well driven um he's very he's just he's just everything like there's nothing that i um could <laughs> yeah i'm gonna watch it all yeah there's just nothing that he's just perfect and i've never had i never was able to say that about anyone like i always saw a flaw in anyone but he's just like okay listen yeah. i'm very excited for you you know you came live on my show and you and you know how the cousin saw a child so we do have yeah. this question. They want they a lot of cousins want me to ask you this question. Kendra, can you please ask if this is a green car situation? He uh, how do you, no. you want to answer that or no, me? No, because no. okay, let, he doesn't live in Ghana. Let me let me answer this. He doesn't live in Ghana. He's well traveled. He's probably been more country than all of us combined. So he's here in the U.S. He didn't need my assistance. He has a Ph.D. in economics, so he can get a job anywhere. So we're very well educated over here. Ooh, you better ride for your man, girl. You better ride for your man. So oops, that is your question. That is your answer. Um, okay, I will say this though. It didn't necessarily really answer the question. I'll just ask it for certainty. Can you live in America without being married? Yeah. And there you have it. Okay. Listen, I send you guys love, joy, prosperity. Please keep me in tune. Um if, if, were you guys getting married? In Cancun. In Cancun? Okay. Well, maybe potentially I can make it. I got two weddings I'm going to this year from people who met via my show. So if I go to yours, it'll be the third wedding. <laughs> well, but I'm happy for you. It. Keep me posted how it goes, honey. Okay. Thank okay. you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ooh, ciao. Okay. Listen. Ooh, I can't. There we go. I'm happy for her. Listen, it's hard to find. I talk to single women every night and it's really difficult. And I know people are trying to find their somebody. So she found her somebody. I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her. Um, I'm happy for them, I should say. I'm happy for them. All right, let's keep going. So let's see. Okay. Um, some of y'all faces I can't see. Doll face. You gotta show me the whole room, honey. Okay. I'm a truck driver. <laughs> oh, you're a truck driver. Yeah. What's your name, Mama? My name is Jojan. Oh, how do how do you spell that? J O J O N. J O J J O J O. Say one more time. J O J O N. J O J O N. Jojan. Yes. Okay. Joe John, where you calling me from, baby? I'm currently in South Carolina, but I live in Houston. South Carolina. How old are you? I'm 39. 
39. What you do for a living, boo? Truck driver. Truck driver. I'm a truck driver and aspiring attorney. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? Taurus. Taurus. Um, Joe John, South Carolina, 39, truck driver, Taurus. You have it. Oh, God, it's Taurus night. When's your birthday? May 20th. Okay. May 20th. May. We up next. We up next. It's our yep. most Taurus season. Okay. What's your, um, do you have any kids? I have four almost adult children. Okay. How old are your four almost adult children? Seven, three, 17 through 22. Give me all the ages. 17, 18, 21, and 22. All by the same man? No. How many men? Four. Four. Have you ever been married? I have been married to a woman and it was, it was like what? an arranged marriage. <laughs> so are you it looking for a arranged. man or a woman tonight? A, a man, a man. How did you have an arranged marriage to a woman? I wanted to go to the military and I was a single mom. So I was like, I, want, I need to get married. And at that point I was like dating women. So I was like, I need to get married to go to the military. And my friend was like, I'll marry you. And it was you a You have to be married before. to go to the military? Well, so if you're single, you have to give up um, custody of your children to someone just in case you get deployed or something. So it'll be a parent or a spouse or something like that. Like you have to share joint custody. So I didn't have my parent to do so. So I was like, I need to have a, a spouse. Oh, I never knew that. Okay. So yeah. you married a woman, so you go to the military. Yep, but I didn't go and we divorced. And you didn't go, you're divorced. So are you bisexual? I am not. I used to be, but I'm. I'm following. I'm trying to get closer to God, so I'm. I'm not on that path anymore. You're not on the path anymore. Okay. Okay. So we got Joe John, South Carolina, 39 truck driver, mom to four kids, um, by four men, was once married to a woman, but now here let only me, for men. Ooh, child, I'm trying to keep up. Let me. You gonna have some more to talk about too. So oh, the God. four dads, right? I'm gonna just give a little quick rundown. The first one. I was being promiscuous. I was 16. The second one, I was engaged to be married, tried to do it the right way. He molested my daughter. Um, and the third one, I'm sorry, the second one is Adrian Trinity. And we were engaged to be married. I um, Everything was going good. And then he ended up molesting my daughter, the first one. So we broke up. Um, the third one, we were together for seven years, thinking everything was gonna go good and it didn't go good. And then the last one, I was raped. Oh my God. Yeah. Did you have you gone to therapy? I went to therapy, I've done all of that. I'm still in therapy, not for that, but I, I believe in therapy. So I believe that's important. Oh child, that was heavy. Yeah, That was. I heavy. wrote a book, I wrote a book about it. Okay, okay. So now you're ready to meet a man. I actually just came on here to say big up to your channel. A lot of my friends and associates were like, you need to check out Kendra's channel and check out, you know? And I'm like, I don't know, I never heard of her. And so I've been watching you. I love how you keep it real. Um, I'm not looking for a man. I'm presenting myself for my husband to find me. Um, and that's just where I'm at with it. So I'm just, you well, know. Well, well, here's the question. So you want to get married? I do. All right. What kind of man are you looking for? Well, what kind of man you want to find you? I want a man that is, that has good integrity, good character, who is God-fearing, um, family-oriented, um, driven, has a head on his shoulders, no psychological issues, no abuse, stuff like that. No abuse. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, any type of abuse. So physical, emotional, uh, psychological abuse. Um, so, you know, the psychological disorders, sociopath, psychopath types of things like that. Um, not being God fearing, um, and not being family oriented. And not being family. Could he have kids already? Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? I like stocky guys. A little bit taller than me. I'm five six. So as long as he's taller than me, a little bit stocky, I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? 
Um, if he, not necessarily, I would just li like him to be driven. Okay. So right. if he was working at McDonald's, as long as he has a vision and I can stand behind that vision, we can work, we can make it work. Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. Kendra cam, what's that? That's when you stand up and we see your full body. Girl, I look a mess. <laughs> you see? Can we see your legs? Oh, we kind of see you. Can you see? Yes, you can see. Okay. okay. So we got Joe John, South Carolina, 39 truck driver. I mean, I'm, I live in Houston. I'm just currently in, in South Carolina driving. Oh, you live in Houston. Okay. Um, yeah. Truck driver, mom to four, um, by four men, married one time to a woman. Okay, when was your last relationship? My last relationship was Go back about... in the light, go back in the light. Like you went under the dark. Okay, there you go. My last relationship was about six weeks ago. You just broke up with somebody six weeks ago? I was engaged, yeah. You engaged, was it a man or a woman? It was a man. Uh, okay. Um, it was a man. Why did y'all not get married? Um, we're just not compatible. We're not. We're not equally yoked. We're not equally yoked. Okay. What was your final deal breaker? Um, on dishonesty. Honesty. Okay. I got a paid question for you. Okay. All right. Logical Faith said on your channel you have a video asking if your past defines you. Not necessarily. But the way you show yourself worthy for marriage is by preparing for it, AKA your past. Thanks for watching my channel. I know, I know that's right. She said, thank you for watching my channel. And that's, and that's the answer. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. So six weeks ago, that was your last relationship? Yes. All right, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Over a year ago. Three, over a year ago, you broke up with somebody six weeks ago? That was my fiance. That was the last time I was intimate with him. Well, y'all broke up six weeks ago, but y'all didn't have sex until over a year ago? The last time we had sex was in February, last on Valentine's Day last year. Why? <laughs> uh, um, he has erectile dysfunction. Okay. Okay. Is that why you guys, is that why you decided not to go forward with the marriage? No, he was, he was really dishonest. Um, he, he was really dishonest. And there was a time where I, I got off the truck to start a business and I, I asked him if, you know, maybe I was wrong. This is a debate across my YouTube channel, but I, we had a conversation. I'm like, you know, um, I want to start this business. I ran through the business plan with him and I'm like, can you hold down the mortgage and, and everything while I get it started? And he was like, yeah, I got you. And he couldn't hold it down and I almost lost my house. So I had to get back on the truck and drive and he just stopped paying the bills. Um, and then he lies about every little thing. He's, I, we, I got into it too fast, too quick with him. So a lot of things that I learned about him that I should have learned before I got in a relationship with him. Okay. So at the end of the day, it's just a lot of stuff that just broke us up. Okay. So what was your final straw? What made you walk away? The dishonesty. Dishonesty. Okay. Okay. Got you. Okay. Woo, child. That's a Joe John. You did tell me. <laughs> no, I might have to start drinking when I was this. Show. <laughs> I wish I could drink right now. Why can't you? Oh, you're driving. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, um, what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I am insecure about my body. Um, I can be a little bit judgmental when it comes to faith because I think it should go a certain way and I think I trust too easy. You trust too easy. Okay. Yeah. And why would a man be lucky to be with you? I'm driven. I have good character, good integrity. I'm smart, intelligent. I am pursuing law, a legal degree. Um, I have my own place, my own home. I've raised my children. I have no baby daddy drama. I 
am very strong in my faith and I know how to pray. I would pray for my husband and we would pray together and we would build something great. Okay. All right, let's do it. Joe John Houston, 39 truck driver, mom to four kids, um, as a tourist, and you want to get married. This time you want to get married to a man. Yes. The woman uh, was never a thing. Like that was just a little blip in the past. Got you. What's the age range you want to date? 35 to 45? 35 to 45. And should he be in Houston? I would like for him to be in Houston. Okay, you would like for him to be in Houston. Okay, Perfect. let's do it. How can he reach, oh, is that it? How can he reach out to you? I have my Instagram, Queen Jojon, Q-U-E-E-N-J-O-J-O-N. And I have my YouTube channel, Dollface Trucker, which has all of my information on it. Okay. Well, listen, you keep me, oh, did you give me, you gave me the age range, right? Yes, 35 to 45. Okay. All right, you keep, and you don't mind if he has kids, I'm assuming. Nope, I don't mind. Okay. I, I didn't come on here to look for a man, though. I just wanted to say hi. Well, girl, why would you call me then? You gave me all your information, told me your whole life story. Be going through it. Look, you only live once, yellow. <laughs> but so I think you did come looking for a man. If it happens, it happens. I really just wanted to, I, did, I don't know how your channel goes. This is my first time really watching it. So I didn't know that that was the routine when somebody comes on your live. But I'm not, I'm not down it. It's okay. Okay. All right, honey. Well, you keep me posted how it goes, honey. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Bye, baby. Bye-bye. Um, oh, you know, today is April Fool's and I, I cannot make this show up. Someone, the, it's the elect lady said, this is definitely an April Fool's show tonight. I have to agree with you. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. Someone said she couldn't hold it down or keep it up. Um, oh, so we couldn't hold it down or keep it up. D. Reese said it's not funny. You know what, cousins? Um, someone said trauma dumping to the world. That's wild. I get a lot of people that, I don't know if it's called trauma dump, but what I would say is a lot of people tell me stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, I actually have to bring my friends to the airport. <laughs> Let me see if I can get somebody else. I have to bring my friends to the airport. Um, let's see. Everyone's waving. Uh, Missy, Missy, Mark, Missy, show me the room, Missy. Okay. Show me your room, Missy. Okay. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kendra. How are you? Hi, my. Tell me about today. And she was like, "I want you to go on the show." I'm like, "What show?" She's like, "Kendra." I'm like, "Oh, I'm gonna go." I was stalking you all day. Finally, you were stalking me all day. Yes, this is my first live. I never go live on my IG, not on my YouTube, nowhere. Okay, well, listen, I, I, I love the support. We want to make sure your Wi-Fi is working, honey. I think your Wi-Fi is not on your side, baby girl. What? <laughs> oh, no. Is it? What about now? This is better? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah, you can't hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's try. I'm going to try to work with it because you tried really hard to be here. Is your name Missy? Uh, yes. Missy, where are you calling me from? Well, I'm from Miami, but right now I'm currently in You're in where? Columbia. That's why, okay, you're in Columbia. So how old are you, Missy? 29. 29, what do you do for a living? I'm a teacher. Do you have any children? No, ma'am. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a tourist, May 15th. Okay, it's tourist night. It's tourist <laughs> night. Uh, Missy, Miami, Columbia, 29 tourists, teacher, no kids. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Um, well, I don't discriminate. Um, I don't care if you're Black, Asian, Puerto Rican, from Middle Eastern, as long as you like 
me, I like you too. Okay. And I just wait. I discriminate to an extent because I don't do Muslims. Say again. I say I don't do Muslims. No Muslims. Okay. What are your deal breakers? My deal breaker is a narcissist. Um, a man that gives you hope. He said he'll do something and don't never come through. Um, and a man that has so many kids with different women. Okay. <laughs> um, do you, can he have one child? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, what are, should he look a certain way? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, he must be tall, at least six three or tall. I'm very tall, five seven. And when I wear heels, I'm probably like five nine. Um, he has to be fit. Uh, he could have a little, a little gut, but nothing too crazy. And he's willing to to bet himself and to lose it. Okay. All right. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Um. Yeah. I would say at least eighty k or better. 80K or more. So be 6'3 and it make at least 80K. Hello? You can, you can hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, or, I mean, I'm working with you because I know you try so hard, but your Wi Fi is not the best, honey. But I'm trying to work with you because I know you try so hard. Missy, it's time for the kids' Oh, uh, The kids' are free. Give me free. Give me free. Okay. I can tell you have a lot of energy too. I hate that your Wi-Fi isn't working the best. You look good, girl. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so Missy, when was your last relationship? Um, well, my last relationship was last year. Um, I would say May 8th. May 8th? I let him come. Ooh, him. Okay, um, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? About three months ago. Three months ago. Okay. Um, three flaws you have to work on. Um, I would say sometimes my attitude because I'm a little too strong, even though I mean well. So I guess my deliverance from my words. Um, I'll also say like I get annoyed fast. So like if I meet someone and he's kind of like he's kind of weirdish, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm done. I'm I gotta get used to um learning other people. I'm used to being alone for so long. So when somebody have habits, I'm to deal with it. But I can't be like that because I have my own. Habits. But yeah. Say it again. What's the last part? Um, dealing with other people's habits, like. Uh, okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Missy? Um, I'm energetic. I'm cool. I'm smart. I'm a people's person. I love to travel. Um, I'm very encouraging. I'm a, I'm a, um, what I could say? I'm very loving. Um, what else? And I'm very submissive. I, I'm a very submissive woman. This She's thing. a very submissive woman. Um, okay, we got this coffee killer. What does it say? It says, coffee killer said, why would you base your choice of men on your heel heights? How long and how often do you wear heels? Um, well, I always get my toes done. That's one of the things I make sure it's all I love to show my toes. And um, since I work in the field, I'm always wearing sneakers. So every time that I have to wear heels, I tend to want to wear the heels. So that's why. Okay, so she wears heels often. Logical Faye said, what do men who fit what you are looking for desire in a woman? Do you respect them enough to have actually asked them? Okay, say that again one more time. So you said you want a guy that's 6'3". He has to make at least 80K. So Logical Face said, what do men who fit what you are looking for want in a woman? And do you respect them enough to have actually asked them that? Right. Um, well, I, well, I, well, guys, um, at least 10 years, six years, always, for some reason, are always attracted to me. I guess I always do well with that's older than anyway, so that's what I prefer. But I was told from a man, a real man doesn't really want for her money or, you know, do. Basically, he wants that affection and he 
that met that lady that make him feel like he can. You know, it's always about oh cooking, cleaning, or you gotta have sex. No, I, I was told a man, man. But if he but if he could get it, it's a plus. But that's not really what he wants. But that's not really what he wants. Okay, okay. Um, someone said, okay, sis, don't discriminate because she's looking for a paymaster. Now, if I was looking for a paymaster, that's not hard to find, to be honest. I know who I am. That's not hard to find. The thing, what's hard to find is a man that has ears at the same time. That was hard to find. Okay. Um, this is the last one I'm going to read. They want to know, did you get a BBL in Columbia? Oh, how could I get a BBL in Columbia? <laughs> I just got here today. <laughs> she just got there today. This is the fastest BBL in healing we ever exactly. seen. All right, let's do it, Missy. Um, <laughs> did I ask you why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Excuse me? Did I ask you why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I, I thought we had tracks for that already. Okay, okay. So I, I wasn't sure if I asked. That's the last question. All right, let's do it. How can he reach out to you, honey? Oh, Instagram. You can find me on Instagram for at M I. M-A-R-C-I-E-R -E underscore underscore, which is Missy Marcier underscore underscore. Okay. All right, boo. Keep me posted how it goes, honey. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, baby. Ooh, child. Tonight is tonight in. Danielle, show me the room, Danielle. Danielle, show me the room. Oh, now you went away. I can't see you. Danielle, you got to show me the room. You got to show me the room, Danielle, or I can't select you. OG, OG, show me the room. Danielle's not showing me the room. I got to see your room, Danielle. You got to turn the camera around. Okay. Hello? Hey, what's going on? Was you, you, you were me? waving a white flag? Oh, no, I was wiping my glasses off. Oh, okay. Yeah. How What's you doing? Name, love? I've been here before. Oh, I think I remember you. You were the one. If <laughs> yeah, I, I was the one that want the person who had had dry box when it gets so old, going through menopause. That's um, <clears throat> boy. What I tell you, what I found out, I found out there's some bullshit going on in the dating world. Um, this. Seriously, I found out there was some bullshit going on in dating world. Now, you just had a woman on here talking about her boyfriend had ED. If a man came up there and said, like what I said, with the dry box, that's talking against women. But when a man have ED, they just rub that over. There no comments on it or anything. So this is what I'm saying. There's some bull. Let me get my glasses on. I want to see how pretty you look tonight. All right. Okay. There we go. And then you had some people get on talking about that brother is a, uh he he's so ugly that only a mama can love him. And then I went on a they they, they I went on a uh Facebook. Some of these women look like they six butter biscuits from a heart attack. Goes talk about me. You know what I mean? I mean some of them look like a stack of uh, I hop potato, I'm going to say, uh, uh, pancakes under the chin, but they go talk about me. And see, this is what I'm talking about, the bullshit going on in the dating world. Um, get it together, Kelly. Get, okay. yeah, get it together. But I've been out in the YouTube street listening to these young men, and I tried to be a buffer between the bullshit they saying and as far as relationship-wise, but I quite understand it. Listen to this, Kendra. I I specifically said I want a woman so dark she didn't have a shower, right? Out of the 20 women who called me, all of them was light-skinned. Not one dark-skinned woman. And then they was convincing me that, uh, hey, look, uh, don't you try something different? I don't like light-skinned women. I got a reason. I really don't want to express to you what my reason is. But let me just put it this way. Every animal, animal 
an animal, and every mammal has a smell. There are certain smells that I just don't like. You know what I mean? I mean, every race. I mean, I deal with Middle Eastern people, Indian people. All of them has specific smells. I'm very sensitive to my smell. But I want to get to the nitty-gritty of this. Look, ladies and men who comes on your station and they point out what they want in their life and they point out what they need to give peace in their life, they shouldn't be criticized, okay? I didn't come over here and talking about, um, I just said I just didn't want dry box. I could have said, said the no, attitude said swing. Dry box. You said a couple things. But, but I mostly said dry box, right? So yeah, dry, you was, put that, it in a cracker was, box. That most, That's what I was. Yeah, that was the that was the the, the driven stance that you didn't want a woman um, that had dry vagina, and you had an age range too, right? Yeah, and, and, and I was get that's what I was just getting to. I was called everything from a P to a everything else. Look, look, look. You look at this young generation, right? Some of these people, are thirty and forty years old, look like they're seventy and eighty. As far as they shape, they the way they move. You, you understand what I'm saying? I took. I'm sixty five years old. I took time to preserve my body, and I think I should have the right of the work I had to put in to preserve my body to have the choice what I like and what I want. Now, I don't pay too much attention because you got a lot of clowns that come on the internet show and the only thing they want to do is put something negative. I understand that. So I can deal with that. But then when you come into your Facebooks and start, you know, they come in your Facebooks or they come into your YouTube page and start typing in stuff, you know what I mean? I mean, I even actually had a woman say, you won't eat, because you remember I said, I don't care if she got turkey fried chicken in the drawers, I ain't eating nothing. So there was a lot of women who said, well, you don't eat the box, but would you would you uh, 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 lick and suck on my toes? i like, you don't lost your monkey ass mind. I'm not putting your nasty ass feet in my mouth. If you don't, I don't give a damn how much you get them Japanese and Asian people to do your toes and shit. That shit ain't gonna never get clean to me. You spend all your life walking around on your feet. You think you gonna put your feet in my mouth? I never ate pig feet, pig ears, and I'm a damn sure I ain't gonna be eating no human feet. So this is what I think is really going on in this climate, Miss um, uh, G, that I think that us as a, not just black people, just the human race, that we don't did so much with our private parts. We gotta do all this Olympic bullshit in the bedroom to please each other. I mean, turn, if you look at the bedroom now, it's like an Olympic event. You know what I mean? You got a has ass swinging from the chandelier while he's popping them with a fucking whip. You know, you got all kinds of bullshit going on, running around the house. and They got to have this drug, that drug, ecstasy, this right there. It's like people don't know what real love is all about. See, where I came from, when a woman really into you, hell, you can rub on the elbows she could get a climax. You know what I mean? When she's really into you. But, Hell, but I've been on the dance but, floor to be but dancing with but, but, but this can be true, but intimacy is also important to you. Mo what I'm saying, it is, but all this extra accessories they're bringing in there, they're not even making love to a human anymore. They they damn sure should just go ahead and rent model 565 robot, bring them in the house, and just screw them to death. Because that's what they're doing. I mean, they got more toys. Then damn Disneyland got rides in their bedroom. Then a man supposed to be able to come in there and be able to please them. They got a damn toy in there, got 475 horsepower, and he supposed to be able to come in there and duplicate that shit. That ain't going to never happen. So what I really come on your show tonight is say, please stop the bleeding. I don't want no more damn calls. I don't want no more emails. I'm good on myself. I'm a beautiful black man. 65 years old, I'm beautiful. Got all my hair. Got my damn, you know, faculty together here. I don't need the bullshit. Y'all on some bullshit. Not you, Kendra, but they on some bullshit. They on some real bullshit. And this is why they so happy. Let me put it this way, Kendra. When I want to be serious with a woman, I know exactly what a man positioning in that relationship. And number two, and what I found out mostly in all this YouTube street 
and all this media and all this other shit, what I found out, there's no spirituality in these relationships. And so a man want a woman to submit to him, but he don't want to submit to God. So they don't have no foundation. So this is why all this circular conversation is going on. I'm good by myself. I can go, I can go on a weekend, go out, and, and I'm, I'm very talkative person. I told that's my problem. I talk to a goddamn, but, but I can introduce myself to any types of women, young women, old women, or whatever. I just got the type of woman I like to be with, and I ain't wanting for a relationship. I just wanted her to lease me, or I lease, uh, or I lease her for I events. Her that's all. You said you wanted to lease a woman. Right. So I want her to lease me too. So they didn't hear that part. Okay. Are are you still trying to lease a woman before you go to Africa? Oh, no. I'm on my own. I'm selling on my own. I just came over and say thank you for your time. Okay. So to be clear, you don't want nobody. You don't want to meet nobody anymore. Oh, hell no. I told you a bunch of bullshit out there, especially on this internet. I do bad. I can do good by myself. Just like I say, I'm six feet tall, 195 pounds. I'm a nice looking man, got a nice jawbone, and I can slap that ass in the bedroom. So I don't really, you know, if I have to. What I'm saying is, they went in like, I think he can't get it up. I, I got some questions for you now. With that right there, I'm gonna let you respond. Latin, okay, last ahead. planning, Denise Gonzalez said, he don't want dry box. Meanwhile, his nuts are saggy and touching the toilet water. Sir, please just age with grace alone. Okay. See, this is kind of bullshit I'm talking about. This woman don't know me from a can of paint or wherever she is. And I tell you what, if my nuts is dragging, I guarantee you I'm rolling my thing down like a damn cinnamon roll. What's going to happen over top of my nuts? And you won't be able to handle it anyway. So if I even have to put a popsicle stick and, and wrap it up with duct tape, you won't be able to handle it. So don't worry about my nuts. Because some women like real big old nuts. Got another one? I uh, do. Okay. Someone said, how, um, how would he know real love when he's 65, unmarried, and talking like he's 25? Because, number one, I've been taught all my life, you got to talk, this, the, 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 you got to speak it in the terms that you people you speaking to. I'm talking to a lot of people who are on this site right now who are 45, 50, and they're not even 25, and they're acting like they're 25. I seen a girl the other day, damn near 50 years old, had a skirt on so short, you damn near see her social security number. She couldn't even sneeze. So don't be talking about the bullshit, me talking. I'm telling you, what is I'm saying? I'm ask everyone, what is I'm saying that you can't identify absolutely true in this street? Okay, okay, okay. Um, here's another one. Um, so when you say lease a woman like a 2024 Nissan, can you get into detail? Well, y'all let the words twist. You know, you just let the, the words twist you up and get you all untangled like you're wearing a damn G-string or something. Y'all don't know exactly what the hell I'm saying. What I'm saying is I want a person that is not going to get involved because I'm leaving in the country. I'm not going to get uh, mentally involved with her. It's just a person. That, hey, she can call me up say, look, I got this event I need to go to. I know you got that tuck in your closet, and I need you to be there with me. I could do the same thing for her. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about some moonlight bullshit, walking in the beach and doing all that other bullshit. That's romantic. That's for some persons who I really want to be involved with. I'm just talking about people who get a certain age, and they don't have anybody in their life, and they tired of taking their family members, and they just want to have some company when they go out to special events. And I, you, you people who go to the, to, to, to the fairs and shit like that, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about special events. Motherfucker, Wait, go to carnival. I ain't talking about romantic, going to no circus or carnival. Like, I'm, you said nothing romantic like walking in the dark holding hands? Well, I'm in California. Your, bad, your ass better not be walking in the dark holding hands here. You better be putting your hand on your gun. But... Just in case I understand what you're saying to go to the beach. No, I'm really just talking about Kendra. You do a lot of things. You travel all over, right? And yeah. 
when you travel all over, I'm pretty sure if your man is not there, you have a friend that you can call. It don't have to be a male friend. It could be a female friend that you can call and say, look, I don't want to show up this event alone. You know what I mean? That's all I was talking about. I wasn't talking about leasing like you going out there and leasing some pussy or something. I wasn't even thinking about that. I can get that before I can get a good damn sandwich. You will Uber eat me some shit. I, I'm telling you. You can't even get a woman to cook for you. They'll Uber eat, uh, Jordash you some bullshit that you ain't going to eat, not knowing who touched it. So I can get pussy before I can get all that. So it wasn't even never about pussy. But if I have to, I can lay the law down. There's a new sheriff in the town. So just because y'all want me, y'all put me in a space because I'm a certain age and I pose to talk a certain kind of way and I pose to walk around and just be talking. No, that ain't me. I ain't never been that way. Okay, listen. Uh, someone, this is a positive for you. Iman said he's talking straight facts. Best of luck to him. Most certainly. Okay. And, and that's for all of y'all. Y'all find what you like. Um, it's a lot of naysayers out there. There's a lot of people out there who go disagree with what you like. Just look at just look at the 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 marriage rate. Just look at the relationship. Look at what most of all the discussion over the internet in this sector. It's talking about relationships not working out. So something, someone is not doing right. So I don't have my time. I got five kids, grown, doing good, none in jail, none on the corner of Figueroa. So it's my time to play now. So if you hate on me because I preserved myself and I'm ready to play, well, hey, what can I say? Okay, last but not least, T. Reese said, Love old people. They're hilarious. Keep cooking, OG. Most certain. I'm going to cook on my... Hey, and that's what I know about a woman, too. She loves a man who can cook. See, some men can cook on the grill. I can actually cook on the grill or inside the kitchen. And so, and we ain't going to talk about the bedroom no more because I, it's a masterpiece up in there. But I ain't trying to get into all that. I'm saving that for my new wife when I get to Africa. Okay. They want to know, what is your age preference again? Um, 35. And any age before she get to menopause. Now, listen to this, Karen. And I, I want to say to this, Ramadan, Kareem, for all the Muslims who might be listening to this, because I am a Muslim. Let's just put it this way. As a Muslim, we're supposed to say half our age plus seven. Okay. But that was in a time when we was eating right, when we was taking care of ourselves right. So now that we have all this food where we eating so much hormones and, you know, we are maturing and we're getting older fast with all this non-food we eating. So now I broke it down just a little bit more, took a little bit off that top of that's half your age and seven. And that's how I come up with 35 all the way up to she's menopause. Okay. Okay. It just okay. makes sense. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to go. So you just okay. came back. He doesn't want to meet nobody anymore. No. He said, um, mm -mm. don't, don't reach out to him. Um, oh, says I like him. How can I find you on social media? Uh, OJ, uh, OG, J speed. Uh, you can find me there or you can find me in the ghost OG, J speed. Just put it in. Look, I worked in Hollywood for 35 years. You put that in there, I'm, my picture go pop up. And when you see my picture, you go see the young one, then it's going to make you crazy. But this is what I look like now. So, um, okay. you know. This one said, Kendra, make sure Michael Irvin gives you a signed football after this. Unk is spilling all the tea. I guess he said you look like Michael Irvin. Yeah, well, last time I looked like Samuel Jackson. Uh, so throughout my life, Kendra, let me just put it this way. You, you ever meet one of them brothers or sisters who can just fit different time? They do their hair different. They do say certain things to, to their suits or what they're wearing. They look like different people. I have looked all the way from Senate Poirier age when I had my hair a certain way when I was on Living Color to look like Jamie Foxx. So, you know what? I'm me. I don't have a twin. So, if it's happened to be some people out there that I look like or they look like me, it's one blood in it. Uh, it took one blood to make all human civilization. So a lot of us go look like somebody. Okay. Um, 
And this one just wants me to make you a highlight. Kendra, please make him a highlighter. I need to watch this internet. Um, again, matter of fact, make all the April Fool's interviews highlights. This was a crazy show. All right, we're gonna go. Um, All right, Kendra. Oh, yes. Uh, you know that one I did with you has, with all your collectives, has over 400 and some thousand views. Really? I didn't know that. Yes. Yo, just your Facebooks have close to 300,000 in the first month. Wow. So that's why I say stop the bleeding for me. I, I, well, don't, I, don't think, I, don't I don't think you stop the bleeding. I think you might have increased it by coming back on. Last one, last one. Tamika Howard. So? Tamika Howard said, "You sir, you sound like my son. You need to hear yourself. You're just talking to be talking. You don't know what the hell you're saying. You are a passport bro looking for easy cat." Okay, number one. Um, I was raised, born in America. I don't think there's a more beautiful woman on this earth other than a black woman from America. And I'm just being serious right about now. So my problem is we can't sometimes handle the truth regardless of who's saying it. If your preacher said, your minister, let me say your president said, your friend said, I think we just at the point we're so sensitive to have people. When somebody, you ask them to be honest, you ask them to conversate with you. But as soon as they tell you the truth, then you want to start windmilling. And then you want to start degrading them. I'll just put it on the table exactly what I want. So if I sound like your son, he's a very intelligent person. If he's not, that means you didn't do a damn good job. All right. And with that being said, we're going to go. All right. Bye. <laughs> bye. Listen, April Fools, was it on us tonight? Every guest? Every guest, every guest, we're done. I gotta bring my friend to the airport. Um, I, I, I love you guys. Um, we'll be back on Wednesday. This is one for the book, April Fools, and it was live. Bye, everybody.